going live. You're live. Hello to the world. Welcome to Crafts of Creativity on the Double Clicks YouTube channel. Um, I'm Laser, and we're gonna uh, do some crafts with some of the most creative and wonderful people I know. Uh, really excited about this, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, let me introduce some people. Uh, first of all, my name is Laser They Them. I'm wearing a jumpsuit today. It's the first jumpsuit I have uh, owned in a while, and I'm really proud of it. Uh, could you introduce yourself, sir? Hi, uh, I'm. I'm Rich, uh, he, him, um, I have a kaleidoscope. Good job. Uh, Michelle, <laughs> could you introduce yourself? <laughs> I'm Michelle, she, her, and I'm wearing a shirt with Sonic the Hedgehog on it. Interesting, is that an important part of your brain, Michelle, or have you just heard of Sonic the Hedgehog recently? <laughs> um, I was gonna wear the shirt that you uh, posted the picture of me in, but then it shrunk in the wash and I needed full mobility for crafting. Okay. Yeah. yeah, excellent. <laughs> uh, Lexi. Who are you? Hi, I'm Lexi, she, her. I'm very excited to be uh, kaleidoscope making. I uh, haven't done it forever, so I'm very excited. Yay, and uh, Miss Kayla Kagan, who are you? Hi, I'm Kayla, I'm she, her friend. I'm just hanging out about to do kaleidoscoping with you guys. Yay! <laughs> and also, I really love Lexi's shirt, and I just want to say because I'm ruined the parachutes in, <laughs> and um, hot air balloons right now. So, I just thought that made me happy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, we have uh, Benji on the ones and twos right now. Thank you so much for producing for us. I want to say hi to Matt Butler, Earthling John, and Aubrey Turner in the chat. Hi. Uh, who are these people? Um, yeah, so we have these kaleidoscope kits. I have been working with this artist, uh, Thea marshall who is a kaleidoscope artist i didn't know this was a thing until recently um but they have a kickstarter out if you know me you know that i work on way too many kickstarters um and she has made these and she sent some to me to like do with my friends and i was like this will be fun and then i realized i could have a craft party with my friends so we are gonna make kaleidoscopes um and let's i mean let's just do it okay so i have my kit here let's take out the stuff in our kits and just just start doing it so let me show you You're, first of all you will have this thing it has a bunch of stuff in it um this is the kaleidoscope bit the other stuff in your kit are these little bags of what they call videnda that word means something i don't remember what it is anybody want to guess a little glass it bit it sounds like a body part <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> It's like as specific as like when you learn that aglet means like the tip of the shoelace. Like, yes. oh, I'm glad there's a name here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, you also have this ruler, which Michelle was saying she was glad that, to get a ruler, which I'm glad that you. Oh, the longest ruler I have is only eight inches. So now I get a full foot ruler for crafting. This mm -hmm. is huge for me. <laughs> it's important because you do a lot of crafting. I know. I saw that you're working on your Halloween costume for this year. I am. It's been. I've been very slowly working on it, but now I have time crunch. <laughs> you have... Is... Oh, is there going to be a dramatic reveal about what the costume is? Or are you, are you like, open about yeah. what it is? Oh, yeah. um, it's it's the character Professor E. Gad from the Luigi's Mansion games, but it's going to be a sexy version of him. Because I like <laughs> taking the most obscure Nintendo characters and being the first person to make a sexy costume of them. Love so it. Building the Luigi props. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Laikitu, the sexy Laikitu, I think was one of my my favorites. Although you do a good job with all of them. Thank you so much. I really like that one too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, so there are other things in your kits. I think that I sent you. Can you show me what you got, just so I remember? Um, I got there... scissors. Oh, yes, markers. I sent you scissors and markers. Those are for shrinky dinks. That will be thing that we will do later oh. so you can set those aside um and then you also should have some sort of tape hopefully tape and oh a tape either in a roll or on a little thing that i made for you <laughs> pretty cool huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah awesome okay so the next thing okay so they say make sure you have a, a surface you can see my surface here 
It's nice, isn't it? Um, we're gonna uh, go ahead and remove everything from this tube. So you see there's like a little plastic end here. Yes. Very carefully <laughs> remove the tip, uh, the end of the, the plastic thingy, and then we're gonna have everything come out. You can push on this, um, this end to make everything come out. So in that you have this little lens thing that is covered in plastic right now, this other little lens thing. I'm so glad that I know this the names. You have a cardboard spacer. You have this big cardboard tube, and then you have a little viewport. Can you show which the spacer was again? Is it this the one? cardboard spacer, this thing? Oh yeah, okay, got it, thank you. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna set all those aside, but first, this little um, thing, they say, they recommend you pull the blue up a little bit so that it's easy to do for later. So we're just gonna pull the blue up, not all the way off, but just up so that later when we need it, it'll be easy to attach. Ooh. Uh, okay. Set a bunch of stuff aside. How you doing, Richard? I'm working on it. There we go. <laughs> All right, and then this is the exciting part because this contains our mirrors. I didn't really know how kaleidoscopes worked, but they have big mirrors in them. That's how they work. It does make sense when you when you think about it. Just a part of kaleidoscopes. Is everybody, Michelle? Are you okay? Oh, I've been working on the the blue film. Okay. Uh, for a good amount of time. <laughs> the mirror, yeah. the mirror is really pretty. Like I feel like I want to put it in my purse. Yeah, <laughs> just use that would it be... as a makeup mirror. <laughs> it would be an amazing makeup mirror just to have like a super long one. Like, hey, oh, I'm just looking at myself. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Michelle, are you? Do you have your lens done? Are you okay? Yes. Are no, we okay to move on? Emotionally, um, I'm still recovering from that. But... Okay, that's totally fine. <laughs> All right, when you look at your mirrors, you'll see that there are some toothpicks on here. These are important for later. So we're gonna take these off the mirror. Okay. And I know what you're thinking to yourself, wow, these mirrors are really shiny, but you're actually not even looking at the shiny side of the mirror right now. You're looking at the back. Oh. I know. <laughs> not possible i'm not going to uh, <laughs> so the uh the side with the paper on it that's the shiny side don't remove the paper yet but this is going to be the front what they call the front of the mirror the side with the sticker is the back of the mirror uh -oh. okay. i know okay so <gasps> yeah we're gonna make <laughs> we're make uh we're gonna set this this fancy squishy stuff aside and we're going to work on creating our triangle right now. The first thing we need to do to create our triangle is to take our tape and make some pieces of tape. This is very exciting. So what we need to make is, and it will be helpful to use the scissors for this because you kind of need the end to be flat, is you need one eight inch piece of tape and two seven inch pieces of tape. It's a good All thing right. we've got Can this. Can you repeat that answer, already? Right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, one piece of tape that is eight inches. Okay. And two pieces of tape that are seven inches. And it does help if your scissors have jam on them. All right, I'll <laughs> let you go first. And while you're doing that, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how everybody's doing. <gasps> Matt Butler, but how do mirrors work? Nobody knows. Probably the Faye. Triangle mirror, triangle mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I used Aglet in a sentence yesterday and I was so proud. It's because one of my kittens keeps eating them. Oh no. <laughs> she needs to understand the weight of her actions. No, everybody likes the sound of tape peeling. It's okay, sweetie. Okay, okay. Um, two eight-inch pieces, two seven-inch pieces. One eight-inch pieces. One eight-inch. Great. Two seven-inch pieces. 
I'm glad that you asked. I was just going to do yep. both. I was going to do two eight inch and two seven inch. You need you need infinite pieces of tape. Hope what for you the need. Best. You're doing such a good job right now. Eight. All right. Okay. Taped yep. up. And while I'm doing mine, um, Michelle, could yeah. I ask you to tell everybody about your most recent research project? Because it's the, my favorite thing and I want you all to be friends. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so my whole thing is I really like doing these like PowerPoint party presentations um, where you like get a bunch of friends together and then you kind of have this open prompt where you do um, a presentation about any topic you're passionate about um, as long as it's within four minutes. Um, it's also like kind of a drinking game and if you go over four minutes then you have to drink for each minute over. But um, <laughs> um, so it's, it's fun and chaotic and um, my friends started doing it in like 2018 and like other people started like really liking the idea but like since then like it's been one of my favorite creative outlets to write a presentation and do like a deep dive into a topic that's um, silly but being taken too seriously. So I did um, a lot of research about whether the count from the Sesame Street is a real vampire or not um, mm -hmm. because I found that there was like a big controversy because uh, for decades now, he has been referred to canonically as a vampire and canonically referred to as not a vampire. And he has some vampiric traits, but not all of them. And he has some ones that kind of conflict with classic vampire mythos. Like he can go out in the sun and he, don't, he like sleeps in a bed and not a coffin and all of these things. So um, I did a lot of research and it got to the point where I was still on the fence after like digging up so much lore. I reached out to vampire experts across the country oh my God. and um, I asked for their help with uh, an entertainment project uh, and I like basically like asked them some questions about like these are like professors and people who like write about vampires and I asked them some like general questions and I was like okay I have this character I'm not going to tell you who it is but here are their like traits and here's why I think there might be a vampire and here's why I might I think that they might not be a vampire where do you fall on this issue um, and then at the end, I told them who it was and I asked if that changed anything. And one of the experts I talked to actually met the Count before uh, <laughs> because they interned at um, like, the, like the children's television workshop where they filmed it. So I had like a firsthand resource, but it, it was so much fun um, just to, to frame this like deep investigation as like, what is the Count? Um, I concluded he was a vampire, but um, because he around. feeds off of the energy of children. <laughs> I, I actually did ask, I was like, is that? Okay, so basically the number one thing, you, there's like two basic traits I learned that make something a vampire. And it's that it's a creature who is undead. Um, like you have to like die and come back to life. And also you need to feed off of the life force of another living creature. And that could be blood as we know it today, but it also could be like feeding off energy or feeding off um, like a, a psychic feeding or whatever uh so one expert did actually two experts brought up the idea that by teaching kids um like the count gets energy just like off that studio on audience and like off of teaching and that interaction with other uh children so maybe it's parasitic maybe he's hurting the kids i didn't go that far but <laughs> <laughs> um it, it's just it's very exciting to me to also just like have an opportunity to get a bunch of people in the same room and like hear people present about topics they're passionate about. Like mine is usually a little bit comedy, but people will just be like, let me tell you about this show that I'm super passionate about. Or like, let me tell you what the, the scene, the, the baseball scene in Twilight is the best thing ever made. And we <laughs> had also a really great one if they want to share about their presentation. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I was very proud of mine. We'll talk about it in a minute, but I think first we should continue with our kaleidoscope. Uh, yes. Journey. Um, so something I didn't tell you that might be helpful would be to tape down your ruler like this. Um, I don't know if you can see my thing. Okay. Um, just so that it's even. Um, and while you're doing that, I'll tell you that my presentation was about gender neutral bathroom signs. I really hate the gender neutral bathroom signs that say like a centaur or a mermaid oh because it's like, whatever, we don't care, which is very annoying. Um, because centaurs can't really use public restrooms. Um, and that's, so I did a presentation about how public restrooms should be more accommodating to mermaids and centaurs. Just true. We also learned a lot about how to find good Broadway, uh, um, 
bootlegs on YouTube. Bootlegs by looking for slime tutorials, which is actually, I That's found cool. one the other day. It was really fun. And all the like comments are like, this slime tutorial is interesting. <laughs> they never oh, wow. make the slime in these. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Benji, can you queue up the video? We're gonna watch the tutorial video. Uh, Phoebe, who is the, um, one of the people who makes these, uh, it does a better job explaining how to make this um, than I do. Okay, Phoebe, hit it. I'm gonna start with our mirrors facing up, perpendicular to, and straight on the fence. Ultimately, we're gonna be making an equilateral triangle, so I'm gonna demonstrate what that's gonna look like when we have it all taped together. Take the mirror on your right and place it on the middle mirror at a right angle. Take the left mirror, make sure it's flush up against your fence, and just slide it in to the middle mirror. This creates a U-shape with the right side slightly higher than the other. Eventually, the mirrors are gonna come in together to make our triangle. So take one mirror and leave the other two at the top of the work mat. We're going to turn this mirror so that the back side is facing up. That's the side with the sticker. Take one of your seven inch pieces of tape and about an, just about an inch up, we're going to make the tape go out to the left side. Use your ruler to make sure aligned and press firmly down. Now flip the mirror over. We do this so that we can use our ruler to make sure our other piece of tape is straight. About an inch from the bottom. Press firmly down. Right, now we're gonna flip it over so that the front side is facing up and the sticky side of the tape is facing up and to the left. So take your second mirror, front side to front side, flush up against the fence and your mirror and making sure there's no gaps. Come up to the top here, placing your knuckles on your first mirror and your thumb on the other. We can pause any time, are you okay? Use your tape as a tool. I can't pause. Pause, 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 pause. I didn't know that she put two pieces of tape. I just saw one, okay. Okay, so. great, great. We're pausing, we're pausing. Okay, so wait, can we rewind? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I was like still taping my ruler. <laughs> totally, yeah, that's good. totally fine. This is the trickiest part. Press firmly down. Okay. Now flip the mirror over. Feel free to yell we'll when you need so pause. We can use our ruler to make sure our other piece of tape is nope. straight. No, nope. nope. they need the same direction. Okay. About an One, inch yeah. from the bottom. Same direction. Press firmly down. Yep. Now we're gonna flip it over so that the front side is facing up and the sticky side of the tape is facing up and to the left. So Good job. take your second mirror, front oh. side to front side, flush All up right. against the fence and your mirror. All right, pause. Yeah, let's pause for one. Thank okay. you, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. Thank this you. looks good, yeah. Okay, so but you should I, have... I have. Yeah, go ahead. I have one question. So the tape should be, when we flip it over to where she is right there, the tape should be sticky upwards, right? Sticky upwards right now. Your paper is up. Okay. Tape is up and the paper side of the mirror is up. <laughs> okay. I okay. guess. Okay. This is so, tricky. So sticky side is up. Sticky side is up. Okay. Oh, I see. Never mind. Okay, I got it. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, Hold you're on. fine. Okay, so the sticky side, and so the back side with the paper on it mm -hmm. is upwards. Yep. And the sides of the sticky tape. Yep. Are upwards. Yes. Okay. You're sticking the tape to the side of the mirror with the sticker on it, with the with the side of the mirror uh, that's right. shiny. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. All right. The shiny side of the mirror is the side you're sticking the tape to. We haven't uncovered the, the other sides, right? We have not uncovered the other sides okay. yet. That's all inside, right? All right. Thanks. Sorry for your patience. I'm the, 
No, this no, is... don't don't apologize. I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm. We're okay. learning together. <laughs> this is a great group bonding exercise because we're all yelling <laughs> out pause. <laughs> all right. Let me all know right, when you're caught up because it's I'm I'm caught up. If okay. All right, Benji. And making sure there's no gaps. Come up to the top here, placing your knuckles on your first mirror and your thumb on the other. Okay. And then use your tape as a tool and stretch it up, going just over that 90 degree. Down to the bottom, use your tape, and press firmly. Thank you, Benji. Good pause, yeah, Benji. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sorry we didn't send you a kit, Benji. By the way, I just want to say that uh, the person in this video, I'm giving them bonus points because they came prepared, they came ready, their nails yes. are on point. <laughs> yes. Nails are so That's good. Very true. Because I've had to do stuff where I knew that like my hand was going to get taped and I was not ready. And then I was like, oh my God, it's going to be like that forever. Just dirt in my fingernails. The nails are also on brand. They're bra- they're the same. They're the brand of the Kaleidoscape. Which I is- didn't even notice that. Yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. It's pretty great. Okay. We're making kaleidoscopes, everybody. If you're just joining us and it's everybody's awesome. doing a really good job. Okay, what are you, uh, everybody okay where we are? Yes. Okay, Benji, continue. Now use your tape to just gently rest those down onto the mat. Make your hands big. Make your hands big. Stretch out the mirrors (laughs) so there's about an eighth of an inch away from each mirror. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, feel good. Take your third mirror. Oh no. Make sure it's flush up against the fence. (laughs) And your middle mirror. Oh, same thing. Making sure there's no gaps. Go up to the top. Use the tape as your tool. Press firmly down to the bottom. (laughs) Stretch it up. Press firmly. Now gently rest those. And now just touching the middle mirror and the left mirror. Pull those apart. All right, can now you pause for a sec? Yeah. All right, so right now, what, once you're done with that, you should have like your three mirrors next to each other with the paper side up. Did it. Okay. I feel like I'm like that guy from Home Improvement that's like always talking over the fence. Oh yeah, <laughs> good job, good job, Lexi. Good okay. job. Okay, all right, everybody else, hold yours up. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Lexi, good job, Richard. Yes, perfect. Also, you guys can't see it, but like when you like look at yourself in the mirror, it kind of looks like a weird music video. Oh. oh my God, everybody, you really nailed it. Okay, all right. <laughs> but I feel like we're on the right page here. All right, okay. go ahead. Shape figuration we did at the beginning, now's the time. So grab your right mirror and press it on top of the middle mirror and grab your left mirror and put it just right beside the middle mirror. Yes, you done it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Got it. You made a pretty solid square. You're doing such a good job, sweetie. Kind of worried about this step. <laughs> if you make your hands big again, make your hands big. Gently press in the two mirrors with the left side with the tape going in first, and the right side resting on top. Mm-hmm. We're just going to create memory in the tape right now. So stretch it and just about halfway, press it on. Go to the bottom, same thing, stretch and press just about halfway. Just creating memory in the tape. I love that. Yeah, me too. That's real poetry. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. 
I have a triangle. Excellent. Now we're going to take the protective film off. So we're going to gently untape oh. and let them rest on the mat. Go, Don't straighten them out at this point. Oops. So gently holding the bottom of the mirror, we're going to take the protective Ooh. film off by pulling uh, it which, towards yourself. And that's on the shiny side, right? Down. Yeah. So you don't want to pull it uh, up. That's the, that's the side with the paper the on it, yeah. Just fly okay. around. Whoa. It's so yeah, nice. it's real shiny, huh? I'm super yeah. excited. It's very Ooh. delicate, she says, so don't touch it. But you can look at yourself. Ooh. Uh -huh. It's just like perfectly reflecting my computer screen, and it's like really high resolution in the mirror. <laughs> All right. Now we're oh, going to create see that me. U shape again. So if you take the right mirror. Oh, can we pause? Yep, yep, yep. Gracias. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> right back into place. <laughs> and if you take the left mirror, it should also just flop right back into place. So Perfect. again, pressing yeah. them together. The left Make one with the tape big. going first. The right one going on top. All right. Wait, and pause. Going on top. The right one goes on top, right? Yep. Okay. Woo. Okay. I'm good. You're doing great. Cure the tape around it. Cure the, the tape. bottom. Secure it around. And this time we're going to wrap the tape all the way around. We did it! Whoa. And now Ooh. you can see that we've made our equilateral triangle. Oh my god. Okay, so you can stop the video now. Thank you, Benji. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take it from here. Um now uh the dead thing you should definitely do is look through it. This is crazy. It's so cool. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> this what? is so dope. No. This is Hell awesome. Yeah. How is this possible? Right. I need so many lexies right now. This is great. This is the most thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I can't, I can't, like, there are three shapes, but there's a million shapes in here. Right? It <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like, Rich, I'm getting a lot of you. <laughs> Rich, Rich, I'm getting a lot of you right now. So if you I'm could, getting a uh, lot of you. I love it. Wow. All of you. This is this unreal. So nice. That was very satisfying. <laughs> yeah. So it takes a while, but then you get this, like, beautiful little. This I'm is dope. To show it in my little, my little camera for the people. I don't understand how this is happening. I, yeah, so it's magic. It really is. Like I don't exactly. I'm with you, Michaela. I'm. I'm like my schooling has not taught me how this actually works. It's no. many, many triangles and There's triangles. There's so many shapes, but this is three shapes. Physically, I am holding three shapes. But I'm <laughs> more shapes. Michelle, do a do a PowerPoint on that. I. <laughs> All, all of my my science research is like about, <laughs> about about waluigi um okay yeah uh let's see uh i'm gonna pull up the video and i'm gonna lead you from now um so uh what we're gonna do now is wrap it in the paper this makes me feel like i'm going through a warp hole <laughs> Or a warp hole, or a dark, <laughs> what a, what, I don't know. What are those? No, it's things? called a warp hole. A warp right. hole? Yeah. I think they're both um, valid options. Yeah. Yeah. Or through like I don't know, to the past, to the future. I'm going through some metric of yeah. or another dimension. Absolutely. Processing a lot of shapes and colors. Exactly. This is awesome. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, if this is all we do today, I'm happy. I'm <laughs> we can stop here. Okay, great. So, so <laughs> we could stop here, but there's so much yeah, more to do. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited about the more. I feel like, but it just, it just kind of reminds me of like, you know, when kids like we give them a, a toy and then they play with the box. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel like I'm like, wow. <laughs> uh, 
I listen. I have nothing. I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eight inch piece of tape. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and we're gonna use that to fasten the um, the the fancy this this stuff to it. Um, okay. So what you basically do, you're gonna lay this down and uh, use it on that in a way that I'm gonna tell you in just a second once the video cues up to it. But it's hey, basically um, about halfway on. Ready? Here I go. You're laying the tape down. It might be easier to do it from the top. Yep, it's easier to do it from the top. Okay, okay so about <laughs> halfway on, halfway off, so that it's, uh, you're going to put this tape on the end. Does it matter which side of the paper? No, it doesn't. Okay. I just messed it up, but <laughs> that's okay. Then, um, okay. Put it on your mirror. In the middle of the mirror. Is like, the tape facing up or, um, oh no, because it's stuck to the paper. So yeah, yeah, it's stuck to the paper. So you're gonna attach that to the mirror. I don't know if you can see this, yeah. So attach it to the mirror, like so. Okay. Boop. And then roll it in. Roll it up. Roll it up. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we take a little tiny piece of tape. Here's tape, here's tape. to fasten it at the end. Thank you again, Laser, for having us all here to- uh, Oh, gosh. What did they say yeah. in the video? Fold the memory? Uh, oh, create memory and then- Create memory in the tape. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. This is so exciting. Okay. I'm excited. All right, so our, do we have- a rolled up thingy now? I yeah. Guess. Okay. Once you have a rolled up thingy, you're gonna have your second, your inner tube. Right. So one of the cool things that oh, they've yeah. done with this kit is they've made it so that you can um, take it apart and put it back together again a few times, which is really cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push this thingy into the cardboard like Mm -hmm. So just make sure that the foam all goes in. Yeah, the foam is there to like keep it from moving around, but you kind of have to. Yeah. Shove it. Shove it. Take this kaleidoscope and shove it. Hey, this is great. This is <laughs> really great. I I'm feel so... like a first year film student who's like, okay, I see the shot. is <laughs> <laughs> here. Oh yeah, if you if you turn it, it it works better. I didn't tell you that, but you can kind of turn it while you push it in. Oh, oh that's it's smart. not it's not too late for really Michelle. Good. No, <laughs> I was really struggling. <laughs> it's too late for the rest of us. But not, oh my gosh, it's so Ooh. cool! Uh, uh, all all the first time making one too, or is it no? I, I I did make one before, <laughs> um, and it was just as fun. Okay. And now she's saying something probably important. Okay, here we go. This is awesome. This will be so good for party gifts. Right? Oh, thank you for uh, thank you for saying that, Kayla. Um, if anybody wants to get a kaleidoscope, uh, they're on Ke Kickstarter right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Benji's gonna pop up the link at the bottom of the screen. Um, Y'all, you can remove your uh, ruler tape because we're gonna need your ruler for various other things right now. We need so, a ruler. So you can uh, you can untape it from your desk. Gotcha. Do we get to keep this ruler? You do get to keep this ruler. It's part of the kit. This is. I'm really excited about it. It's a good Me ruler. Too. I'm ready. I need a new one. What I love about like their designs too is it looks like so like almost like. It kind of gives me like 1920s deco vibe. It's very art deco. 
It's yeah. not that it's bad, but like, I feel like I should get a coloring pencil and like color in all the little designs on yeah. it. I know, oh. I really I really do wanna, I feel like there should be a, a coloring book. Okay, so now look at this thing, this little disc. This is your viewpoint. I'm looking at um, it. And look at this thingy. So you'll see that this has, this, this big one has an end that's um, more finished. Um, there's like an open end and an unfinished end. Yeah. All right, okay, so so you want to drop this into the unfinished end so that it goes all the way to the finished end. And you can elect which side of this cool wooden part you want to go out if you have like a favorite. Um, <laughs> this is I've my been thinking side. about Because this is like a little wind burny, but I like I like this presentation. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then if it doesn't, um, if it if it's like mine and it kind of goes like that, you can use the ruler to make it flush. Yeah, I'm debating which end to do because like the wood burning end has like like has like kind of that feel where it's like I'm a sailor. I you <laughs> know like I, I I I'm like really looking you know. What is your vibe? Would you say that you're a sailor or more of a polished? kind of person it depends on the day luckily you said we could take this apart and rebuild it as yeah they, oh, as yeah. As they want so mm -hmm. i might have to i think for today i'm gonna go with the polished end that i get real sense. polished pirate vibes from you That's yeah you exactly you need an eye patch and then you're ready okay <laughs> the next piece we're gonna put in is the uh little this little thing that we started pulling the blue plastic off of Yes. We yeah. are going to pull the rest of the blue plastic off now. Of both sides. Right. Of both sides, right. yes. And we're going to drop that right in. Oh, you, do you Whoa. see both sides? So there's stuff on both sides? Yes, it should be clear by the end. Oh. We'll just drop it down? Drop it in. All right. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, mine's floating down in a very satisfying way. That's what my wood right? thing did. This one's. Yeah. What I have to, what I have to say is this kit definitely is bringing out like some of my favorite things to do, which is to reveal stuff. Like I'm like, what's going to be underneath <laughs> this blue? What are these mirrors going to be like? Uh -huh. It's very like, it's, ASMR, yeah, very like. Exactly, it's satisfying. I'm like. <sighs> Excellent. I'm so glad. Oh gosh, I missed her uh, putting the thing in. Um. I think all you do is put the thing in. So, okay. So now we're gonna take our our wooden our our cardboard incredible mirror vibes. Our wonder. Our wonder. And we're gonna put that in. To I'm not doing a very good job to illustrating this. Push. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. weird. <laughs> Did you get like lots of little circles? All the little yeah, if circles. Yeah, if you look in backwards. <laughs> oh, that's what I did. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I'm so old. Okay. I'm, I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> I was uh, like, whoa, this is different than any kind of thing. I think it would be scarier to look through the other end because this end is open. So I think, yes. I think we made right. a safe, responsible decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's about a horror movie. Yeah. Um, so we could glue this into place, but in, but to make it so that we can like take it out, clean it, whatever, we're gonna use the toothpicks. Okay, there I go. Oh. Um, we're gonna use the toothpicks to um, to hold this into place. So let me turn on my light so that I can actually show you what I'm doing. Boop. This light isn't working. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'll do it over here maybe. Okay, so you take a toothpick, you're gonna shove it in the side here, like in between the, um, oh. in between the edge and the um, other edge, like that, to keep it from moving around. And you just should shove it. it. Flush with the top of the, of the um... Sorry, should it be flush with up here? What's what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna shove it in and then we're gonna break it off. Oh really? So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So you're gonna push it okay. in and then you're gonna okay. wiggle it back 
and then just kind of turn it. So like you until see, it snaps. I okay. Do that until oh. it snaps, and then turn it and take it out, and then there will be like a little oh yeah toothpick splinter in there, and that way now it doesn't move around anymore. You can. Can we just do the one? Yeah, I mean, if you need another one, you can. But I think probably one is probably. So these are backups. These are yeah. I might do another one just for safety, but just to keep it real secure in there. But it doesn't need to be like centered or anything. It's fine. Boop. That's pretty good. I know, right? It's very yeah, clever. It's it doesn't come out at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared I'll never get it out. Like they're in the best science class right now. I yeah. feel like I'm, I'm like, ooh, mirrors <laughs> refract and reflect. Let's talk about it. I'm so mad at all my science classes now. I mean, yeah. what was I doing? <laughs> I just taught this every yeah. day. <laughs> and then if you ever need to take it out, you'll just kind of squeeze the top so that there becomes more space and then oh. those will come out. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. We're almost done, y'all. This is very exciting. Almost terrifying how yeah, close we are. There's not that many I, parts left. I just looked at the time, like this has been so much fun. I didn't even realize that we've been doing this for like almost like 40 minutes. It felt <laughs> like 10 minutes. Like it I didn't, I, not yeah. even 10, it felt like five. All right, I know it's really awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna take our, our other lens here. We're gonna drop that in, boop. Okay, just drop it. Like we don't have to peel anything. I don't no, no, anything just like that, that goes in. Okay. It should be clear. And then you kind of have to cram it in with your ruler. Cram. Cram it. Nice. Cram it and jam it and ram it. There we go. It's okay. been crammed. It's been crammed. And then you're going to take your spacer disc. Yes. Th this little ring. And cram that in. Oh my God. <laughs> All the, does it, should it be uh, flush against the little glass piece? Yeah, flush against the glass piece. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then if you put the cap on, it should close. So that's good, right? Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. <laughs> this is really pretty. Like just looking at it, oh, you can't really see it, but it looks really pretty. All right, so yeah, oh, that's, that's- This was a cap? Right oh, now, wow. all you can see yeah. in there is the cap. Um, I'm so glad you said that, because I was like, I did something wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I just want to make sure that the okay. thing is that. So now <laughs> you should take out your little bags. Um, so each of these is like a full bag of the Denda, little glass pieces. One of them has a sticker on it. One of them has a number on it. Um, go ahead and take those out and show us what you have. This is so exciting. For both of them? Yeah. I feel Are so we bad tearing the sticker. I know, it's okay. <laughs> oh, pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, these are awesome shapes. Okay, I got oh, wow. um, shapes, little little beads, and I know Laser named what these are called, but I- They're uh, called Videnda. Videnda. And a paper clip, which I find fun. Yes. Um, I will pick that up. I like this little grid thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The mesh. Yeah. Oh, I like the shapes. Just give me a triangle. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, there's more. These are really. Y'all make sure you get everything out of the bottom because there's, there's a, like a little that. shrinky dink, I think. That's yes. like a person dancing. Fine. Just and then one that's. Oh. Yeah. So in your second bag, there are shrinky dinks that I made specifically for you. Wait. Aww. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best of bagging. These are so great. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. I love what you do. It's a little Sonic. <laughs> you got a little Sonic. A little Waluigi. Oh my yeah. goodness. And also a, a smaller Sonic. <laughs> you, I, you know, it's it depends on the size. So um, let, let's start by just taking like basically the whole contents of one of the bags. Okay. And just drop all of that into oh. your, like take the cap off and drop all of that <laughs> into the top of the, um, the kaleidoscope. You made me a little Keith Haring. Yeah. The Keith Haring was back. came from Thea. The rest of them I made. I um, okay. So, so all of the little gems and stuff just go above that lens. Like just that. above the lens, yeah. Oh. You can drop all, all of them uh, in there. From both bags? Just one. Just one one bag. 
on Bagsworth. Okay. And not with the, the not the one with the shrinky thing. Let's just start with one. It doesn't matter. You can do it. Oh. I, I want to I put Sonic in here. Yeah, do it. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is hold it up to the light and then turn the whole Whoa. Thing. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Let me show the stream so that this isn't extremely boring for them. Now just look at all of us looking through these tubes. <laughs> hey! Oh! <laughs> Rich. That's so good. Ooh. Ooh! It's so pretty! It really is. So pretty. Y'all, this is great. Ooh. I feel great. like I'm looking at, like, it's not my thing, but it looks like Tiffany stained glass lamps, you know, where like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this one appraises for $3 million or whatever. <laughs> This is real, like, I feel like TLC, like, the next show they should have is like... Oh, this is so good. Let's go. Very hard to show. And the camera. I wonder if it would be easier here. The mesh net is really neat. Yeah, it does really cool stuff. Oh, I need to add that one. <laughs> this is great. It's like your own, like, little vacation. Like, when you're like, <laughs> I, you just, like, look at it. You're like, where am I now? That's exactly the thing. It's like, I feel like this is transporting my brain a little bit <laughs> so that, now the, you can the, now, now this this is my favorite thing about these kaleidoscopes is that you can pop open this end and then take stuff out and put stuff back in yeah. you can do like so thematic colors you can do whatever you want so like i said you have those shrinky dinks if you want to put those in there richard what did you bring for us today um actually I, before you do that yeah. let me get everybody started so you should have shrinky dink paper, friends. Um, the right, the approximate right size to draw something to go into these is about like two inches across. Um, if you draw something on the shrinky dink paper and then cut it out and then put it in a 325 degree oven or microwave on parchment paper for two minutes, you will wow. create a little shrinky dink. We have enough time for you to do that if you would like, um, and I encourage you to do so. So go ahead and take your Shrinky Dink, use the Sharpies and any other Sharpies you have to go ahead and draw a little picture. You want it to be light enough that light can get through. And you said two by two. Yeah. A two okay. by two is about the size that I did to get you the si the ones that you have there. By the way, I didn't realize you made a little Sims. Um, I made you a Sims and I made you a smile because I, I know that you yeah. smile. Yeah. And I know so that you like the Sims. Yes, <laughs> I love the Sims. I've been playing, I'm trying to, I've been practicing Spanish, so I've been playing it in Spanish. Ooh, Ooh, I, I need idea. to, I need you to talk about your uh, illicit Spanish learning, Lexi, because it's my favorite thing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've been learning Spanish at one point. I hope my teacher is not on this thing because she would be sad to hear this, but I have seven Spanish teachers <laughs> because, 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 you know, they all teach me something different. Um, it's a lot of Spanish, but it's all good. Like one of my Spanish teachers the other day taught me how to curse, but I didn't realize that. So then I went to the other Spanish teacher and I was like, Hey, I learned how to say this. And they're like, don't say that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I uh I love this for you. Um do we have to preheat our ovens to a Yes. Preheat your go preheat your oven to 325, everybody. 325. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I want to see if I can get a, a picture of Great, please. Oh, this is amazing. I'm drawing a really bad D20 right now. Okay. Great job, me. Um and then that's amazing. Richard, why don't you tell us what you brought for oh, the I'm Vedenda so for the Vedenda experiment? Yeah, I wanted to go find some. And so I was looking through all my board games and uh, Pandemic Legacy has all these cool little cubes, which is great. That's fun. They're all see-through. It's got these little orange bits. You know, that's neat. That's neat. But here's what I really care about <laughs> is it's got a whole bunch of like really clear zombies. <laughs> These tiny little zombie figures. Oh my god. So cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put That's a so bunch sad. of them in there just to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Alright, go ahead, put them in there. Oh, um, that's good happens. for Halloween too. Right? Very good for Halloween, very spooky. Uh, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna do a smash face. 
So I do want to touch on this again. So Lexi, you have seven Spanish teachers and none of them know about the other Spanish teachers. Well, two of them <laughs> do. Two of them do. Two of them, I was like, hey, cool I'm going to level. <laughs> well, the one like six and seven know because they were like, so how often am I going to see you? And I'm like, once a week. I got seven of you guys. And then they were like, okay. But I was like, but don't worry. You don't do what the other people do. Like, don't be jealous. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was like, you're, you're very, I you know. It's like so. a dating app, except for, for Spanish teachers. I love yeah. that you're like, look, I'm just playing the field. I yeah. have a lot of options. Exactly. I'm not going to limit myself. You have to exactly. prioritize yourself and your needs. But, exactly and exactly and it, it i mean it is a lot like dating finding the perfect spanish teacher it really I, is because sometimes like some of them like i had a spanish teacher that was obsessed with like directions and i was like i'm not good with directions like let's not he's like like i told him i went to disneyland he was like how far where what direction east south or west i was like i don't know i just put it like <laughs> yes. went up <laughs> went to disneyland <laughs> We, the direction of Disney out once we do once we make one right yeah so what you want to do is you want to draw the picture and then you want to cut it out and then you want to put it in the oven um do you know like if other kinds of pens work like i also have like a gold paint pen would that probably mess it up let me go grab the directions oh. and i'll also, tell you, you i'll bring my 20 little 20 or 325 325 for two minutes yeah Okay, okay, sweetie, you can try to. Put I need that. a quick okay. sign. This is the greatest thing. Okay. Why don't you? Why don't you hold <laughs> it up? I get a good it. one. Oh man, I. Let's see if we can get that in there. There's little tiny. Ooh. Oh, they're very small. Very small. I see. Um, you can take a picture. It looks like little bees here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So did you do um, for your shrink eating? Did you do repeating image in it, or just one big image? Just one big one, right? That's what I'm gonna uh, do. I don't know. Yeah. What was the question? Just have one of them and toss them in there? Yeah. Oh, what do I want to draw? Right. Yeah, I might have to take a picture. Yeah. Because the, the, the little details on the arms and legs are <laughs> pretty great. <laughs> All right. 325. I will say I've been trying to find a good way to tint um, glasses for like the cosplay I'm working on, and now part of me is like, what if I just shrinky didn't get? Because all the other methods I've tried so far are like not great, but this is like I can get colored plastic that I can see through pretty fast. Now I'm, I'm interested in the medium. I'm invested. <laughs> um, let's, uh, uh, Benji, can you put the link up for how to get a kaleidoscope? Um, <laughs> so we just put these on parchment paper in 325 for about two minutes. Yes, two, two and okay. a half minutes. That's it. BRB. Uh, oven or not a microwave. Um, okay, yes, paint, paper, paint pens will work. Not watercolor markers or crayons. Alcohol based, like crayons. <laughs> alcohol based permanent markers, acrylic paints, and painter's paint markers. Cool. I want to do some okay. gold. <gasps> I'm going to do, let me see if I can draw a little paint. Hmm. I need to. All right, where did my shrink eating go? Oh, they're there. Okay. <gasps> Gonna put my shrinky dinks into the thing. Hey, you've already got some. Again, for introducing me to so many different kinds of craft within this one craft. I know. I'm. <laughs> I didn't make shrinky dinks until yesterday, and I'm so excited about it. I can't yeah. even tell you. Laser showed up at my door with the kaleidoscope kit telling me that the Trinky Dinks have changed their life. Yep. And I understand now. Like, it's so excited. It's a whole vibe. I need to look up a reference photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the other great thing about Shrinky Dink is that you can trace it. Like for example, I did with Sonic. Oh, it was a really good Sonic. Thank you. I know that you're <laughs> an expert. There should be a Waluigi in there. I don't there know. There is. Yeah, I haven't gotten him to come up. Like he, he's in the the thing, and I keep yeah. seeing the Sonic, but it, it's oh wait, there's a little one. <laughs> he's rattling around in there. Yeah, he's yeah. Sometimes it's hard to. Well, that's the that's the beauty of so. randomness, you know. Hey, wait, oh, exactly. Yes. Do you put the parchment paper on a little tray or just directly on the rack? Oh, I put it on a tray. 
Okay. That's my YouTube thing. That was amazing. Kayla's talking, but we can't see her, but we can see her dog. Sorry. <gasps> that, that must be real weird. Hi, Banjo. Bye, Banjo. Oh, is he? Can you see him? Yeah, he's wandering around. Oh, a banjo right. sighting. Banjo sighting. Banjo's trying to open the door. Oh, let me get Good him. luck, Banjo. <gasps> you did it! <laughs> now he's stuck between another door. Come on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi, Banji. You were just on camera. You were just He's on like, camera, I buddy. know I was on camera. He knows. He's always he knows on camera. You. I'm beautiful. He really is. All right. My oven is preheating. This is not super exciting right now. Or not my oven, my convection oven. You're so, you're doing so good. Okay. Let me see if I can. He knows. <laughs> good. As long as he knows. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Ooh, very nice. Very fun. Wow, this is hard to draw. <laughs> what are you trying to draw? Tails, the fox from Sonic. Mm. Weird head, weird head shape. Too many shapes on it. Too many shapes, tails of fox. Unless, what if I trace it off of my phone? Ooh, yes. I like that idea because then I don't have to print anything. Also, if you're using an image, you can um, screenshot it and then you have it as a still, then it won't move when you're creating yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, or maybe uh. it, I'm not looking, so maybe you are. <laughs> I don't know if my oven is hot enough, but my shrinky is currently trying to get dinky. Your shrinkies are your shrinkies are dinking. <gasps> I don't want to open that convection oven chest. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, it's, it's happening! It's happening! <laughs> well, that's good. I made a little AOL guy. I'm very proud of oh, this. I was thinking about how, like, do you guys remember, like, when we all thought that, like, when we were, uh, when we all thought that, like, the world was going to end in, like, Y2K? Yes. Like, because of the computers. We were like, computers can't handle <laughs> the year changing. <laughs> <laughs> If only it had. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I think this. Oh, that's really good. This is my favorite one. Okay. I think I might be able to put it on, on that. Maybe? Message, Maybe? Message I should have both to me and I'll okay. screen share them. We'll, we'll screen share them. <laughs> It'll be better than what we're trying to do right now. There you go. How do you know when the shrinky dink is kind of done? Like when you um, open it's it up, very it's... small. Yeah. Does it need to be crinkly around the sides? No, it just needs to be very small and thick. Oh, okay. I think mine's yeah, mine's thick. All right. I think I got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then it sh it should look like the ones that I sent you. I guess is the. Yeah, it's not tiny. It just looks a little bigger than I expected. So okay. I'm gonna bring it in in a second. Show us. Good moment, Um, Benji, I'm gonna Discord you some images. <laughs> that I'm very proud of. <laughs> These are fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna put some more colors in here. Yeah. Okay, so uh Lexi, can you tell us all about Awe Wednesday? Yeah, so Awe Wednesday is like a weekly thing I do every Wednesday. 
Well, let's be. Uh, sometimes it will be. Uh, what well, uh twelve oh two on a Thursday, but we'll say it's a Wednesday. <laughs> I do it. I try to do it every Wednesday on time, like before the sun goes down. But it's basically like I share something that inspires me with just people. Like I just put out something that I'm like, hey, this is a cool fact that I learned. This is something cool that I saw. I think that this should be shared. Um, stuff like that. So that's what I do, like, um, and it's usually like just something like really random that made me go like, whoa, that's that's cool. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of like one of my like or something that it's it's like, for example, I saw this this clip of Paula Patton. I know. Uh, no, sorry. I saw this clip of Whitney Houston having like a major breakdown because of uh, Paula Abdul. Like she was like, Paula Abdul is. Like it was in this documentary, so I like shared a clip, and then I'd be like, "See, everybody gets crazy sometimes, you know, about people that <laughs> they shouldn't necessarily see as their competition." You know what I mean? Mm, yes. And so I, I like I like to talk about clips like that, or like the fact that like just like cool stories where it's like uh like Breaking Bad, for example, almost didn't happen because people were not wanting to. They were like, "Oh, well, Weeds is a show; it exists." And oh. <laughs> we already have a drug show. <laughs> exactly. We already have a parent that's selling like stuff. And um, but then it but then it comes down to like they're different though. So, you know, everyone's unique. And so I like to do stuff like through that where it's like I see something and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, that that's 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 all Wednesday. Uh yeah, where and can you I see it. Uh, well, I created its own Instagram. It used to live on my Instagram, and then it was just creating like <laughs> it was just becoming like all that. So now it's just at All Wednesday, um, like at All Wednesday on Instagram. So it's a w w w. Well, no, it's a w w Wednesday. So it's like three W's, but one of those W's is for Wednesday. Got it. Yeah. Love By it. the way, oh, I see your dog. Oh yeah, he's in. <laughs> he's oh. here. I I think my shrinky thing shrunk. I think it's, it's show me. Right. It's real tiny. It's all print fine. Oh, you that's see? great. Oh, that's I feel cool. Like, do I need to cut the glass a little bit? Oh yeah, I would cut closer if you can. Yeah, I can do that. Or not the glass, whatever this the plexiglass <laughs> paper is. Yeah, cut cut right around it if you can. Um. So Michelle, will you share your findings of this vampire study for the world, like on like Medium or something? Um, yeah, we 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 did like the whole thing as like a charity stream, uh, but I put, okay. uh, I put the video of like my presentation on my YouTube channel. Um, oh, it's okay. very good. It's so good. It's very good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very uh, excited. Oh yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Can we see it or is it going to be on the stream? Okay, it's going to be on the stream. Okay. <gasps> it's so cool. Hold on. I'll can I screen share or how do I, how do I show these people? I don't Whoa. know. That's so wait, cool. Wait. I'm missing it. I'm going to try to figure out how to screen share it here. Um oh, I could just open it. Haha. <laughs> it's going to oh, mess. Oh, that's really cool. Let me show you. Okay. Look, look there it is. Ooh. Oh yeah, it looks like a great wallpaper. <laughs> I would love, yeah. like, if that was a wallpaper in that haunted house, I'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. here it goes, oh. we're going down. It reminds you of, um, you know, those like I Spy books. Yeah, um, yeah. 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 This is this is my AOL Instant Messenger one. I was very proud of this. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. My double clicks dinosaur. Um, okay. Thank you, Benji. <laughs> All right, is, are 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 you making are you making shrinky dinks, Michelle? Can you show yeah. us what you're working on? It's it's in progress, but this this will hopefully turn into a little character. Oh I did my realize, gosh. um, I don't know how to color it in white, so it'll be interesting to see how it, how the white part. Yeah, up yeah, the gold may not be so translucent. It's the other thing. Can we um? So can we put our shrinky dink in? Yeah, yeah, put your shrinky dink in. All right. 
That's amazing. It's just a mob. All right. I got a shrinky dink. Um, yeah, I got it. You've got a shrinky dink. What do I want to do? I don't know. All right. Go preheat the oven. <laughs> Please. I will. I will. Oh yeah, sign of the times. Is it cool? It's really cool. And it somehow the mesh is covering the um, shrinky dink a little, so it looks like it's a real 80s vibe because there's graphic with a print sign behind it. Oh yeah. Like checkers. It's cool. Or it may be symbolic of Prince's life. Think but about it. Think about it, y'all. Just think about what I've done. <laughs> I've just blown your mind. Um, this is incredible. I'm pro shrinky dink. A.L. Suarez, yes, my, mine does have a dinosaur. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being a Double Clicks fan. Everybody watching and anybody at home, these are great gifts. You can buy them for your friends and family, and they are on Kickstarter right now for only five more days. Um, you can buy a whole bunch of them and send them out to your whole family and do a Zoom party like we're doing, and then everybody can make Shrinky Dinks. There's only five more days to get these? Yeah. There, you can buy a box of six of them and give them to everybody you know. It's actually for like a craft idea for kids. I guess with parental supervision. Mm -hmm. I also think it might be cool for like um, like a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Donor. <laughs> a uh, a um, uh, bridal, sh uh, uh, yeah. um, like a bridal shower, um, if you know, like you know, for because like for one of my like when I think about like some of my friends, it's like we like doing activities more than like it's just fun. It's like mm -hmm. you can ask questions, you can talk, you can make stuff. It's also like this is ah oh, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I I just I mean. <laughs> I would be, um, I think the triangle step is just, I think every step of making this has been, a, I've been like a little kid. Like it's just been <laughs> too freaking cool. 100%. It's really fun. And I like, I like putting all the different shapes and then you can do like, just gonna do red and blue and see what it looks like or do green and purple, whatever. Um, Kayla. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Can you talk to us about writing books? Writing books. Webster defines writing books as... Well, uh, I mean, as, I love your books. story about writing Piper Parish 30 minutes at a time, but I like all of your stories about writing books, so... Um, well, I don't know if I have that many, but I can say that I write books. That's what I'm doing. That's what I currently do. And um, novels. And... Uh, I am not a person who writes eight hours a day or 12 hours a day, and all those people who do, I find amazing, but I don't know how they do it. Uh, so I am very much a fan of doing work in tiny, tiny chunks every day, except for I take two days off a week, so I don't do weekends, but uh, those tiny chunks add up, and I am a big fan because no matter what, you're like writing what kind of creative project unless it's something that's a very short piece like a one page letter or something like that Ooh. i feel like anything you break down uh you can build out and build up and it's a lot easier than exhausting your brain in big chunks of time mm -hmm. for me that creativity doesn't always come through that way it looks tired and it makes me feel tired and then i don't want to work yeah. And then I don't make anything, and that's not the goal. So, um, but it's fun, and I like it, and that's the thing. It's like you you have to remember if you're choosing to do it, like to write anything, like whether it's a poem or a screenplay or a book or anything like that. Uh, how fun because you're choosing to do something that is wild and weird and um, hard sometimes. So. I think it's good to have fun <laughs> and to remember that you chose to do it. <laughs> that's um, a that's a strong recommendation. I agree. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like somebody, a friend of ours, 
who writes movies, he said on his computer once, he wrote, remember, this is fun. And, <laughs> like, he put a little sticky, and then he was like, and I do. It helps me remember, like, this isn't torture. I get to do something neat. Mm -hmm. uh, so I sometimes, when I'm getting a little in my head about it, I like to go, this is still fun. This is why I'm doing it. It's really fun to tell stories and to, and to meet readers and um, talk about stories. So, uh, I, and back up your work <laughs> like emotionally, but also just keep backing it up like every 10 seconds if you can. Never stop backing up your work, um, no matter what you <laughs> write or that's, make. That's a good, a good advice. Yeah, I, I've learned some hard lessons without backing up. So, my stickies on my computer say, back up your work and stay in it. Because sometimes yes. I don't want to stay in a project and I want to leave it. I think that's so beautiful. I really like that. Feel free to put them on your stickies and use them because <laughs> they kind of work. They kind of work. Yeah. And that making stuff is fun, generally. I mean, it can be hard, it can be sweaty, but it's fun. No, I think that's all like, I think that you gave like really good keys. Like, I think that's so huge of just like, just little bits every day. Like, oh, don't. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, um, even no matter what kind of size or scale of piece you're making, like for me, uh, but some people love the long distance run too. So like, if you're a marathoner, work 26 hours. If you are a sprinter like me, work 30 minutes, put your work down and be like, I did my work for the day on this. I'm going to eat breakfast or whatever it is. <laughs> um, but uh, there's, I didn't come up with it or anything and everybody has to find their own schedule of how much works for them. But, but I think uh, that's perfect. Like my yeah. favorite, Arthur always says like, um, people over uh people overestimate what they can do in a day they underestimate what they can do in a month or a year yes who who said that or who's that your favorite author or it's not one. like it's my favorite like positive author uh yeah, jim yeah. quick jim quick because he doesn't like do stories he does um he's like a brain coach oh i love this yeah i feel like i'm getting hot tips from lexi like left and right i'm just like hold on i'm writing all of this down no, lexi's, I, lexi's <laughs> hot tips are always the best yeah, yeah I'm finding this out. I feel like I'm getting hot tips from everybody in this. this well, this is the best group of people. So just we everyone mm -hmm. here is amazing. Like I, I'm really, I, I, you know, Kayla, you saying the, the stuff like really, I, I really think that that's, that's super huge of just 30 minutes. Cause it is, it's true. Like, and you got to stick to it. Cause I was totally, I'm totally, I'm totally a, uh, I, this year I've been intentional about like sticking to things, but I, I can totally like new shiny stuff. I'm like, oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's why you make these. Yes, I know. Like I'm into the new and shiny. I feel you. I feel you so much on it. Uh, I can't take credit for it. I can just say this. I will say this poet that I really like named Robert Haas. His thing is, he said like, take the time to write. Um, you can do your half. life's work in 30 minutes a day. And so in a half an hour a day. So like for me, that's what I was like, ah, I'm going to try that. And then I started doing it every day and I did it for a year. And then I had a draft of a book, my first one. And then I, it kept going. But, um, but there's also a thing called the Pomodoro. Do you yes. Know Pomodoro technique? Yes. Yeah. I love so that. For people who even like 30 minutes sounds like a lot. Like if you're at that level where you're just like, I'm just hammering away and brainstorming right now. So you set a timer for 25 minutes and the reason it's called Pomodoro is because the timer looked like a tomato that the guy first used. Um, and you set it for 25 minutes and at 25 minutes when it goes off, you put your work down, you take a break, whatever it is. You walk, drink water, dance, play with your animal. And then you start it again if you can do another one. And so if 30 minutes is too much for someone, do 25. That's my phase. Like sometimes yeah. when I'm really struggling to get focused, I go 25. And then as soon as I do 25, I'm like, all right, I'm in. Like I'm in my matrix. <laughs> yeah. That's it how I am up. too. Once you start, it's like way easier to keep going. Yeah. It is. It's so much easier. Let's see, like what's your like creative day like? Like what, what's your, I like hearing about schedules. Um, okay. So I've been using a lot of carrot stick lately where <laughs> I I can only I I can only do Spanish classes if I get my work done. 
God. <laughs> like I can only schedule, like, cause obviously I schedule in advance. So it's right. like, I, I go like, oh, I can't. And you know, I, I, I love all my teachers. So it's like, it's like hard not seeing them. So it's like, I gotta get this done. <laughs> so typically uh, what I've been trying to do is kind of a little bit what you said, cause I heard Dolly Parton say that she writes every day. So, I believe it. She has a bazillion records. <laughs> exactly. So I try to do I try to do like 45 a day because what I started noticing is like like what you said, like increments, like like little bits. But then it depends because I am actually like I do like doing marathons. So mm -hmm. it's some days, but I also take like a lot of breaks. So like sometimes I'll be like I won't write for like maybe like four days. And mm -hmm. then if I have something that it's like due immediately or I need to bust out something then I might uh then I might write for uh like I might write for like six seven hours but what I do though if I do do that I either go to someone's house or I used to have a friend that was studying the LSATs and so I'd go with her to the library and I wouldn't ask for the wi-fi password and then I just stay oh, brilliant. Yeah. and then I'd work when she was working and she was like, really like, she's uh, very, like, she's one of those people that's just very focused. So I couldn't be like, Hey, what are we doing? She's like, shh, shh. Yeah. So we're like, <laughs> so, we're, so, so, so it's like, well, I don't have, and then I'd usually give her my phone. So it'd be like, well, I have nothing. It's either uh, write or be uh, there. Uh, that's actually some author. I think it was, I can't remember which author it, it's from, but he said, you know, I can either write or I can be extremely bored. So it's one of those two. That's so brilliant. And I love like framing it so you're like, you set yourself up for like, I'm going with this person who I know is not going to be able to sit there and gossip and you're not going to have access to the Wi-Fi. Exactly. I was just going to ask you like when you're on a, a jag that's like six to seven hours, do you like pop into Twitter or pop into Facebook or do you do you take breaks or do you do you just sit down and go until you have to use the bathroom? I will usually maybe I'll go, uh, you know, to be honest with you, the first hour is like very non-productive like it's mostly yeah. like my head like i'm tiring myself out mm -hmm. and then i also love writing when i'm really tired because that's the best because then i can do really good strengths of time like so if i've been like almost like a little kid like i have to like treat myself like a little kid like i have to tucker myself out so that i can then <laughs> just like sit and then write and um like pre-pandemic what I, my schedule would look like is like i would typically do like a bunch of like stand-up during the day so I do like I do like maybe like six or seven rooms and then after I'd sit down and I just write so you said you would do that during the day so you're going to comedy spaces during the day well no I'd start at like or two and then I'd from like two to like maybe like 10 I would go be out and then okay. from 10 to maybe like 2 a.m I'd write that's so awesome. That's like because great. I would be, I would be like tired, but I'd be like drunk tired where I can. Yeah, and also like you, what do you, like, you're not going to go off stage and just be like, I'm done. Good night. Exactly. <laughs> I'm winding. Exactly. You've got like, like so much energy. So then I put mm -hmm. it in the, the thing, but yeah, so, so like, but I, I'm trying to work on having better systems in place. Cause I think I can definitely, I'm always like trying to fine tune it, but Pomodoro has always also helped when it's like I'm hanging out with a friend that also has the the same uh I, we have the same level of focus because yeah, then yeah. we'll do we'll do 25 minutes and then we'll talk and then we'll do 25 and then we'll talk. Oh, and, it's so helpful. And then during pandemic, what I've been doing is one of my friends is an animator, and she has like she's very focused and she has to work a lot. So what we do is we just do on Zoom and then we'll like silence and then she'll tell yeah, yeah. me what her goal is and I'll be like okay this is my goal and then we'll uh, <laughs> and then typically though sometimes it gets scary when you're like in the zone and then you hear a voice being like it's time <laughs> 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 you're like oh what is what's happening <laughs> you're like why are my characters speaking to me <laughs> exactly back to me exactly <laughs> um Michelle how did your shrinky dink go oh yeah I think it's still too big but I had a great time making it and that's what it might it might work. Did you try it? I did. It also you were right. It probably does need to be a little translucent in here. Oh, okay. But I 
still you like can... it. I made a little friend for myself. Okay, great. Um, well, I mean, you, there's lots of opportunities yeah. to keep making more. You have a lot of shrinky dink paper. It's fine to experiment. It's a good life we have. I'm learning a lot about myself in the process. It's Richard really made um, some. Richard, dinks. when you're working on a game, do you sit Hold down on. and do it for a long time, or do you like do it in chunks? Oh wow, it kind of. Or both. A little bit of both. I don't have a good system yet. Um, <laughs> I saw someone who was was talking about this this clock they had just gotten, and it's it's basically like a big hexagon. And um, and when you set it down on a certain side, it'll like start a timer. So there's like a five minute, oh. a ten minute, a twenty minute. Um, Smart. And I I kind of want it because I don't. I think I work better when I stop and reward myself at some point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and sometimes yeah. I'll forget to do that, and I'll just be like working and getting like slower and slower. I need that. I need that spark some way, some point through. I, I know, and I also love this clock idea. Is it on a, a Kickstarter clock, or is it somewhere I can? No, someone it? just found it on Amazon, and then they they showed it off, and it immediately sold out on Amazon. Otherwise, I'm sure. it's a yeah. time like the, the timer is on the clock. Yeah, and it's uh, based like as soon as you set it to the right side, it starts. Oh, so it's all cool. internal. It's got an alarm. I'm gonna and, step uh, away for just a second to give my dog a quick break, but I'm listening. So I think hi, I'll be able Banjo. To pee. <laughs> like, hey, I gotta pee. Okay, go on, let's go pee. Yeah, I just made a little Triforce Shrinky Dink and I added it's really some little good. decorations. It's working okay. Benji, can you share that on stream? Woo! If any of y'all want to text me your things, I can send them to Benji to share on screen too. <laughs> I'm just, I just keep taking pictures of this. It's so great. Yeah. I, mean, I want you all to see this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the idea. They're fun to share. Mm -hmm. Fun to share. It's fun to share with your friends. Oh it's yeah, he's share. sharing oh. your your Triforce right now. That's cute. Oh, that looks really cool. Um, <laughs> are you making any drinky dinks, Lexi? Are you gonna save those for later? Oh, we can't hear you. Yes, I sh I'll show you what I made. Please do. Okay. Wow, that's so fun. What is it? Hola! Hola. Hey, that's <laughs> Spanish. Your teachers would be so proud. And then I made a penguin um, that's kind of like with the little poof. What? Oh, that's really are, good. Are they showing up inside your kaleidoscope? Uh, yes. And then I made a nose. A nose? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh Ooh. my god. Can I see the nose or is it too late? Oh no, it's not too late. It's never too late. Never too late. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, um, Laser, because yes. of the way my gallery view is, uh, the camera that is focused on your arms and stuff is underneath my image. <laughs> so it looks like those are my arms and that I'm having this very disconnected moment because we're also <laughs> very black. And you know when people like stand behind you and do their arms? Like, yes. As a joke? It kind of feels like that, but um, also like I'm just real cool and have I'm a lot of tattoos. I mean, you are real cool. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty cool, you guys. I mean, you don't you are have, cool. You don't have yeah. as many tattoos as me visible on your I have, arms. I have one, and it's not where yours are, unfortunately. Yours are cool. Whoop! These are so neat. I have a very tiny toad shrinky dink. And it's oh, yeah? very visible right now. <laughs> and I'm very A toad? Is that what you said? Toad, yes. Toad from Toad from Michelle's Halloween costumes. Oh, I did do that once. It was very good. <laughs> Anybody else doing Halloween? We're watching a bunch of scary movies that day. So that kind of, but Excellent. Yeah. 
That is a good are use of Are Halloween. you into like scary, scary movies or is it like, like Hocus Pocus and the classics? Um, so I've always been super scared of scary movies and I've just in the last two years really opened up to them more because I didn't know how many of them are so funny. Um, so kind of a weird blend of, and my husband is really into Italian horror films, <laughs> which are very artful and like set in the 60s and 70s. And they're always like, I must kill you, but first we smoke together. Like they're very like <laughs> sexy, but they're um, artful. <laughs> but like, they're like also murdery. So, uh, and they're called Gialli and Giallo, which means yellow in Italian. So we, uh, we've we been watching a lot of those and because they're so gorgeous to look at and great fashion and you're seeing Rome and everywhere else. Basically, it's like kind of traveling without leaving during the pandemic. So it's also really beautiful. So I started there and now I'm pretty good. Like I'm watching a lot. I, I watch Malignant, which was big for me um, in modern ones. And we watch a lot of funny ones. Last night we watched one called Ready or Not, which is gross, oh, yeah. but so funny. And it came out in 2019. I highly recommend it to everyone if you like horror movies and you like kind of funny and silly, but it's not as innocent as Hocus Pocus. And I did see Hocus Pocus, and I have to say, I think I I, I didn't love it. But I loved all those actresses, and I wanted How to love it. How could you? I know. What well, I hate admitting this right before Halloween, when 99% of my friends love Hocus Pocus. Like, I well, thank you for it. sharing your truth regarding I, <laughs> I need a recovery group. I don't thing. think they're gonna hate me but yes thank you for feeling I, safe enough thank you that right, they all make right. me feel this way but you know what everyone i know like it's the thing just because i don't personally love it doesn't mean i want to yuck on somebody else's yum like enjoy hocus pocus as much as you <laughs> are you all big hocus pocus fans no judgment i mean it's not like my favorite movie ever but i do like 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 in the same way like i don't think halloween town is a good movie but i will watch it with friends um in the halloween season. do you recommend it Probably not. If, okay. if like like I think Hocus Pocus is a much better version of that oh. vibe. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do think Over the Garden Wall is also a really fun like autumnal watch. Um, I don't know that one. I'm writing these down as well. Okay. That one I do recommend. It was like a Cartoon Network. Um, it was a TV show, but the whole thing is two hours, so it kind of works more as a movie. Oh, I didn't know it was that short. Oh, it's oh, really good. good. Last I checked, it was on Hulu, but I don't know if that. Yeah, that's awesome. It, it, it's, it was like one of the, when Cartoon Network slowly started pivoting back to like creator driven animation mm -hmm. and stuff like that and being like, oh, you don't have to like mass produce this into 50 seasons. You can just make what you want to make. It's very weird and I like it a lot. <laughs> Ooh, this yeah. Is so over the garden wall. Yeah. In Halloween Town. I'm going to write down. Oh, I don't Town recommend Halloween. Halloween Town. But okay. <laughs> uh, folks, I think I think we're gonna call it for the stream. I okay. appreciate you so much making kaleidoscopes. Of course. Um, well, thank you for doing it with us. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Feel free to to take some um, if y'all are enjoying the inside of your kaleidoscope. Share your pictures. I will. Tag me and kaleido kaleidoscape. It's a really hard thing to say. Kaleidoscape. Um, like I said, they are on Kickstarter right now. Oh yes, this is um, this bag. I'm, I am to tell you is a great way to display your kaleidoscope. You can just fold it and um, set it down. A kaleidoscope on top. You can switch out stuff inside. I find it very fun to just hand my husband a great number of items and then say, "Put stuff in it. Look at it. Do you like it?" Um, he loves it, doesn't he? It's a great piece of mindfulness. Yes, it's a very fun thing. No matter, uh, it, it's it's fun in many states of mind and it for many different kinds of people. So I hope you have fun with it. Um, it's so much fun. I. I I, and I hope you really enjoy your shrinky dinks because after we after we leave, like I'm definitely gonna like chill out, watch watch my kaleidoscope, and listen to like some French, uh, like a French, uh, you know, like one of those like uh, French playlists on yes. like, a yes. French cafe playlist on Spotify. Like, like this is really cool. <laughs> you can also just take out the end and look at people through it. Uh, <laughs> that's another option. Um, 
Okay, so thank you so much, Kayla Kagan. Dot com. Art Boss by Parish. Incredible books. You're the Thanks, best. Girl. Thank you, Lexi Grace. Smile, Lexi. Amazing. All Wednesdays, the best. Michelle, I can't pronounce your Twitter handle. Can you? Oh, of course I can. It's Miex Rear. Is it not obvious based on the way it's spelled? Uh, it's in the description of this video. Uh -huh. An incredible <laughs> follow. Uh, it's going to be worth it to be there for Halloween um when your your costume is I'm out there costumes. yeah two costumes excellent yeah. You're doing costume uh, there's, a, there's an instagram with a with a new dog it's all really good stuff um uh richard and melina i want to say melina weber is that your last name sounds right okay game designer host of uh creator of the academy of adventures D D for ages 11 through 15. yeah yeah uh author of books oh gosh creator of things <laughs> love of my life um so uh academy of adventures.com atomic game theory.com that's perfect perfect gosh i want to add kaleidoscope magnate to my list but these books already got it i know it's pretty you're pretty amazing um and if you don't already know me i'm i'm laser and you should check out teaching a robot to love.com my musical comes out next month um, and we have a free video game if you sign up on the website um i'm gonna do that yeah, it's really good. So thank you so much, everybody. And thank you, uh, Benji, Ben, Canant, Canant, for uh, producing this. Ben, G, Canant, I was right. Okay, great, thank you. Um, <laughs> the Invisible Man. All right, <laughs> bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye, all. Bye, Club. Love y'all. <laughs>